Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. In the last part, we did story. Now we're going to do not that. Well, no, we're doing story right now. Okay. No, right now, currently, this is story-related cutscene. I don't believe you. Uh, I believe me. And that's all that really matters, as long as I believe me. That is correct. Guess you're right. Guess you're right. Yeah. I don't need I don't need Jack to believe me. You don't. No. So anyway, yeah, we're we told the the guild branch about what was or the the bracer guild. I don't know what we're doing. What game are we playing? Anyway, we told him about what kind of happened. We gave him a small report, and then now we're turning in all of the quests we just did. Uh, so that's cool. And, huh, nope, nothing on the board. I guess we're safe for now, guys. More story for the rest of this part. Oh. 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 I don't know what we're... I don't know what we're owing about. I have no idea. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Yeah. Oh, well, we're, we're talking to Hazel here. Oh, oh. And we're just gonna... I guess we're gonna go see Chief Murdoch, because... He's in charge of the place. And he wanted to talk to us. And... Oh wait, we're not gonna go see Chief Murdoch. We're gonna see Professor, Professor Russell. Hell yeah. What's up, Gramps? Gramps is here to... Tell us a thing or two. Anyway, he's going to try to cut into the black ornament. That's it's on the saw table there. That is a saw table. I I don't see the sending I, wall. Yeah, I was about to say. Here we go. Uh oh. This will not work. Basically anything. Work. Yeah. Beep. It's going to break the oh, saw blade. I turned it off. Ah. Yeah, basically, uh, because the black orbit was being attacked Guys, by I something that's powered that's by an orbit, a, uh, turned it off. It's just a, I think that's just dark matter. I don't know what that is, and I'm going to close my ears and continue to say la 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 over if you try to explain it. Thank you. Yeah, if there's uh, an ornament with a power within a range of about five Rs, uh, this thing will activate and turn it off. And if there is other ornaments, it'll like like leapfrog across those signals, and that's why the entire city shut down yesterday. We're gonna try fire, I guess, says Estelle. What do you guys think? Would melting it work? Uh, probably. Mm. Definitely. Gotta try that. Oh, okay. Professor Russell thinks we need to try something that won't use orbital energy, so we're gonna try a combustion engine. All right, you then. know, one of those lame things that we have in our universe. Yeah. Lame. Where's the Where's the fun? Where's the magic? Well, we tried that, and it just turns it off. Well, piss. Yeah. You know, if magic doesn't work, I guess we're just gonna try fire. Yeah, is there anything we can do? What like, can we do to help? Yeah, what can we do to move the plot along? Yeah. 
Yeah, do about 70 side quests and come back to me when you're done. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Operations room? What the, what the heck, heck is, is an operations room? Oh, it's just a super smart computer at the top floor. Neat. <laughs> well played, old man. Alright, Tita's gonna help her grandpa uh, set stuff up Boo. while we go fetch a combustion engine and some gasoline, so... There goes your third party member, guys. God huh. damn it. We can never keep those. I'm I'm starting no. to think that uh, Estelle and Joshua are just not good company because we've got really high turnover. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's the operations room. This is a hallway. That leads outside. A little outside bit. So yeah, operations room. Hey, you two. Oh, hey, it's you. What's up, Travis? We're with the Bracer Guild. What? That crazy man. <laughs> I mean, he did kind of shut the power down in the city last night. Yeah, good thing there were some bracers there to beat him up. <laughs> I mean... Tita's just amazing. So anyway, can we... Uh, you know, I don't know, use the computer? Nah. Oh yeah. We found the computer room, guys. Oh. oh my god. It was here all along. We did it. I know we never played Shadow the Hedgehog for the channel. I was gonna say, wait, that time of recording. I was gonna this. say that doesn't exist then. Yeah. But I'm sure that'll be a joke and we'll just have to re reference The Legend of Heroes, Trails of the Sky, part fifty six. And we'll have to tell some crocodile we already found it, don't worry. That's fake. There's there's okay. there's no crocodiles in Sonic the Hedgehog. We haven't played any games with one in one. Fair. Hey man, I'm just using your logic. I was trying to think, but then I realized, no, we have not played. Thinking hurts Knuckles my brain. Chaotics. That too. When we eventually get to Shadow the Hedgehog and we get to that level, we're, we're just going to be like, click here to watch Trails in the Sky Part 56 to find the computer room. We're not going to do that. We're not going to remember that. I... I can't say it. Well, anyway, uh, this is a... This is a computer uh, with a search engine basically built into it. No way! It has a bunch a of files on things. A computer with a search engine? No way. I know you've never heard of that before, I... but anyway. So yeah, uh, it has an entry on, you know, gasoline and combustion engines. You can click on those. It has other things that has, like, information on stuff, but those aren't important now. You'll probably ignore those. So yeah, we know... Who should have the combustion engine now, because we read that, and... Oh. Right, this talks about the establishment of the company. So there's a lot of background information here. Uh, Professor Epstein uh, is considered, like, a really smart dude, and he uh, was, like, the research head of... Or he taught three other people, one of them was... 
Professor Russell, our old crazy, like, granddad, and um, because of those teachings, uh, that led to Professor Russell being one of the heads of the Orbal Revolution, and Professor Rubble, uh, Russell, after he came back, uh, and uh, set up the, the ZCF and all that nonsense. A lot of background information on the, the Trails series is just here. A lot of text. A lot of text. Um, read it as you wish. Uh, they've recently started, uh, or right before the Hundred Days War, which was related to the cutscene. We like we've we've heard about that. Uh, that's where Estelle's like mom died and stuff. Uh, they started up the Orbal Network. Um, which is basically the internet. It's still in, like, uh, development phase here. Uh, it's about, like, 12 years old, I think, at this point in the series. Uh, so it still has work to go through. And then Supervisor Travis has a little bit of, you know, he spills out some of that information as well. How Professor Epstein uh, is a big wig when it comes to like the techno uh techno revolution that happened within the last 50 years or so it's kind of cool though that like this takes place right around like the dawn of an internet in universe mm -hmm. and a lot more of that comes into play a little bit later in the series uh but we get a little bit of that here We can also talk to Willamette back over here, and he's talking about how this is basically one large orbital calculator. And I'm like, yeah. Hell, sure is, dude. hell yeah, technology. Fuck yeah. Anyway, we're going to head down to the basement floor. The basement. Yes. And we're going to get lost very quickly. <laughs> and now we're back on track. Anyway, talk to this lady. And be like, yo, we need some gasoline. Can we get some? She's like, I, I got you. Insert inter, inter, internet lingo here. Oh my god. It's a floor that moves. Ooh. We Amazon Prime that shit. <laughs> Same day delivery. So that's what sending is. God. Sending? Is that... I know. Pain in the what? Pain in the what? Pain in the what? Pain in the, uh, ass. Say ass. Say it. Pain in the tits. Pain in the cunt. All the above. Anyway, we are halfway done with our fetch quest. Halfway? Yeah, now we need a combustion engine. And for that, we need to go out. To the landing port. We need to go talk to the uh, head of maintenance. What's up, Gerald? And Gerald here has a thing or two to talk about Gustav, the head of maintenance. The maintenance chief. Ah, oh, shit. He went to some fucking fort? <sighs> well, there it goes, moving the story along. I guess I will move 
side. I guess it's time to go to side quests, guys. God, there's nothing damn we it. can do. There's absolutely nothing we can do. Oops, all side quest. All right, who turned that on? Oh, don't fucking tell me he just got back. God damn it. Alright, I guess we'll move the story along still. Oh. Nice. Fucking lucky bastards. Hold the phone. Estelle, how do you know what a phone is? Well, they have phones. We've seen them. Have we? I no. I honestly forget. They're like I was gonna say, isn't it they, like the older fashioned ones? Yeah, they the like phones. That type of thing, yeah. They used it to communicate, um like the the guild branches will use it to communicate with each other. Um, oh, okay. And like, I, they used it to communicate to uh I genuinely like, couldn't remember if there was or not. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh man, you don't. See, He's got a portrait. You don't see us using the phone very much. No. Sir, your so anyway, sir, your hair looks like the football field for Idaho State. What? It does, and that's natural. So anyway, he's gonna go get us uh, the second plot device. Wait a Traitor? minute, Boise State, not Idaho State. My bad. Oh, you fucked that reference up. How dare you? Anyway, since he has a portrait, he's probably a main character, and he's gonna join our party later. Maybe. I'm. I. I honestly. I mean, about half the time. I honestly don't believe people you. Do. Hey, like, half the times when someone has a portrait, they join the party. Eventually. For, like, two minutes. Maybe not as an active party member, that they just follow us around. Like, Denial to Dorothy. True. Anyway, thanks, Mr. Maintenance Chief, for forcing Landon to move the plot along. Bastard. I mean, such a swell guy. All right, let's go talk to Professor Russell because we got gasoline and an engine. We're gonna head back up to the third floor. No, oh, I was like wondering why he posted. <laughs> Estelle's <laughs> like, we're back. Oh boy, we're back. I love how like the height difference he between Russell and Tita is like negligible. It's because she has a funky hat on. Yeah, but she's like nine. And he's like, like twelve. And he's like sixty. Fair. He is like he's sixty eight, I believe, is what I said the other night. So it's like every anime that has an old man and a young girl starring. Alright, we got the engine set up. Here we go. All right, oh let's boy! Just go at it. Should we be wearing like safety goggles or something? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No safety equipment. It's not about the physical punishment the Ormet can take, but how much our ears can take. Also, yeah, there's barely a scratch on it.
but we were able to scratch it. Uh-oh, what does Chief Murdoch want? Oh no, the orbital pump is broken over in Elmo Village. That's bad. That sounds like something we can do. Well, Professor Russell can do, I should say. <laughs> is anyone in this game going to say ass? Not for you, Jack. Not for you. It's not like they haven't swear sworn in this game before. That in this specific part, I just removed every instance of the word ass. Oh, <laughs> uh, why don't we go with her? We ain't got nothing else to do besides move the plot along. Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but she's... Eh, never mind. Like, four years younger than us, yes. I mean, but also much smarter than you. Yes. Sweet. So we got our party member back. Yay. We got our party member back and we have a new story quest to do. We got to go fix the the pump in Elmo. Hell yeah. How, how else are we supposed to enjoy the hot springs if it's broken? I I have no idea. Exactly. We wouldn't be able to, Jack. Good thinking. Thanks. You're welcome. Are we gonna have a dumb, goofy hot springs scene? Define dumb and goofy and hot springs. Hijinks ensue when they go to the hot springs. Oh, not hijinks. Anything but hijinks. <laughs> Alright, we'll have anything but hijinks. Alright, you know what? Just for shit's request. Giggles, just for shits and giggles. Oh, there we go. We can have a little... All right. We can have a little hijinks. As a treat. I was <laughs> I was wondering when we'd have a bunch of side quests open up, guys, and... Looks like we're gonna put off going to Elmo Village for a while. Oh, god damn it. There's so many. I'm sorry, what do these letters mean again? S-S-S-L-S-L? -S 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 I think length shows short and long. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, actually in the next part, instead of trying to save Elmo Village from their broken water pump thing, we're going to go do side quests because, um, yeah. No story. No story. Story's bad for you.